we want it. Bye, bye. We on a passenger side. Chopper up high. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. This game against Los Angeles here, their first look at the Clippers. This is a team they faced and overcame in last year's playoffs. Booker for three. Sinks the tray. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, was there an opening night that sticks out in your mind? Well, for me, rookie year, opening night is always special. Came out the gates 25, 10, and 5. Of course, 2004 was special, too, after not playing the entire previous year. Offensive rebound. A yeah, nice shot Zubats. by Zubats. The deep. Defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Paul. Inside. Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Wonderful find by Paul. This offense relies on him to make those kind of plays. Jackson on the wing. To the paint. Here's Zubats. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Count it. Good. Agile move by CP3. Navigating the contact and getting his shot. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting. But he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Booker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Booker's got five points. I love the execution we are seeing thus far. Four shots and four makes. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard. And he can easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Paul. So it'll be two free throws. He was Reggie fouled in the Jackson. act of shooting. That's his first person. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. The trickery of Paul. He's unpredictable. It is what gets defenders to be overly aggressive. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. The drive by Jackson. Now Ibaka. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Here's Booker. Going inside. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. A versatile score. At 6-5, Booker has enough size to make plays in the painted area. Two minutes remaining in the first. Ibaka, good. Nothing went right on that offensive possession except the result. Here's a three from Paul. They get it back. Here's Aiden. And he got the whistle. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Phoenix. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And the jam by Ibaka. Nice pass by Kawhi Leonard. You can tell he's been working on his playmaking. The Clippers trail. Pass to Ibaka. Lots 
of room. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Ibaka's got his third basket of the night. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. And 101 left in the first. That's a foul called on Cameron Johnson. Cameron Johnson. That's his first foul That's of the his game. First personal foul. First team foul. 56 seconds left in the first quarter. To the middle. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. And the Suns making a change here. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Leonard. Back to Ibaka. Shoots over McGee. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on JaVale McGee. I love how Ibaka's developed this little pump fake. If you're the defense, you can't overreact against him. And you look at Serge Ibaka's defense. I mean, still solid overall. Not the rim protector, though, that he once was. And the basket by Shaman. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Tries again. Kicks it to George. Back to Ibaka. Over McGee. Ibaka's shot is off. It's Shamit on the wing. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Well, it's been a high... And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start, you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Serge Ibaka. And that one's Assisted good. By Ibaka's Bledsoe. got 10 points. What vision from Bledsoe? A point who can score it and dish it. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. And that one's Terrence good, man. man. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Here's Shamit. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And that's how you do it. Ibaka still able to surprise people very quick off the floor. Up top, Bledsoe. The shot misses. Sharich with some nice D. And Bridges, here we go. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Down low. Here's Ibaka. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Following this one, they hit the road to challenge the Kings at Golden One Center in Sacramento. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Assistant. Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Eric Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench Phoenix, players, this team is well balanced. And we compete. We challenge each other every day. To be honest, it's the best team I've ever been on throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That yes, they are, Allie. Thanks. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. And Smitty, there are plenty of good teams in the league. Not many great teams, though. How do you define that, Mark? Do you have to win a title to be great? No, I don't think so. B.A., obviously, championships matter. But I think being consistent. Look at the Steve Nash Suns, teams that have competed for titles over a sustained period. You have to take pride in that, too. Pass to Ibaka. Stolen by Aiton. Here's Booker. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. <laughs> There's nothing you can do if you're the defense. Booker is so solid at muscling shots in through contact. Sir, Ibaka, good. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. And it's Crowder missing. 
he didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Batum. Stolen by Aiton. Outside Paul. An open look for Booker. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. From Chris Paul. Booker's got four points this quarter. I really love seeing Booker score off the ball. He shows his understanding for spacing Eric and Russell. when to put up a shot. They have no answer defensively inside. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Outside Two Paul. Minutes. Pass to Crowder. Back to Paul. For three, Booker. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Back to Kennard. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Ibaka. Shoots over Aiden. And Aiden pulls it down. The Suns trailing to the inside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. A well-rounded player on both ends. You can count on Jay Crowder night in and night out. And you see the value he provides for this team. And he makes both free throws. So it's the Clippers now. Now here's Jackson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Kale Bridges, man, has he grown in this league, growing more and more deadly with that shot. Yeah, I mean, he's increased the amount of threes he takes. He's gone from average shooter to great one. A fantastic option to have out there on the wing. Crowder. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. It's George on the drive. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Crowder with it. And it's Leonard picking him up. Pass to Aiden. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First personal foul. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And the Suns will go for a different look here. The Clippers trail. George draws the double. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Suns with the ball. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Shoots. And Aiden gets it to go. Aiden's got five points in the quarter. You need guys who are willing to make the next pass. Shaman doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but he's unselfish. Here's Zubats. Jackson outside. To the paint. Goes back up. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Now here's Zubats. Oh, and he got Sometimes. fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first person. Give that one to Jay Crowder. First team foul. The first free throw is good. Shooting for the Clipper. And Zubats drops them both. And it's Phoenix's ball. It's a one-point game. Here's Paul. Tipped. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. George has the open look. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. He doesn't need much time to get his shot off. Paul George is a dependable catch-and-shoot option. Booker, good. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. The drive by Jackson. Here's Zubats. 
Kicks it out to Jackson. And it's going to be a three-second call. I hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That'll be a second foul of the game. First team foul. Phoenix calls timeout. Clippers substitution. Serge Ibaka. Phoenix timeout. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. That quick burst off the pick allows Jackson to separate and get the look he wants. Pass to Aiden. Back to Paul. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Ibaka. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Three-pointer, no good. So it's Phoenix now. Booker with it. Jackson in his pocket. Good court vision from Booker. He sees a wide open man and gets him the ball for an assist. Pass to Ibaka. Off target from outside. The Suns leading. On the wing, Crowder. Back to Booker. Inside. Crowder, that's good. Crowder's got his second bucket on the night. When you look at the career numbers of Booker, here's a guy who has really increased his assist numbers. To the wing on the left. And it's Ibaka on the drive. Oh, rejected by Aiton. Ibaka with a steal. And the jam by Ibaka. And for Serge nowadays, most of his offense comes from beyond the arc or at the rim. Up top, Booker. He's got 14. Here's Bridges. Here's Aiden. That one doesn't drop. Ooh, great D that time from Ibaka. Knocked away. Stolen by Aiden. For three, Bridges knocks down the triples. Bridges has got himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Their long range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. <laughs> they need to rethink their approach defensively. He's shown no signs of stopping. And it's Bledsoe on the drive. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Booker. One oh five left in the third. Down to five on the shot clock. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Another area where they've done a great job tonight is forcing the issue on D and getting some steals. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or oh, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. To the middle. Sharich. And Sharich throws it down. 
Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. Oh, I don't believe that. He's better than that. Come on. Fires for three. Drains the triple. And it's a 12 points Suns lead. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Oh, they pick off the pass. And so it's Phoenix earning this break. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. So it's Phoenix now. Here's Paul. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Bledsoe goes in. No luck on that one. Hayden with the defensive effort. Three-pointer Bridges. The rebound by Mann. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Here's Zubats. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. It doesn't get any easier than that. The defense has to play better. Pass to Paul. Booker for three. No good. Eight for 11 from the floor now. Here's Kennard. And he makes the eight-footer. Kennard's got his first points of the game. That's just a solid execution to get a wide-open look. Here's Aiton. And it's good. Two points. Strong Chris Paul. And the Suns lead by ten. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. And we're going to have a jump ball. So it's Phoenix now. And Phoenix has possession. He gets it in there. Superb vision and decision by Jay Crowder. Rotating the ball, executing this offensively, flawless. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. It wasn't feel good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. to Aiden. Oh, and that 